Good day, everybody. Welcome back to the Vitality Project. I'm Dr. Bob. <laughs> Yesterday, we deepened even further into talking about what happens in our brains when we're stressed out. Uh, uh, but this time, we, we, we didn't do what we typically do, which is turn to science. Which, If you think about it, it looks at things from the outside. It studies uh, uh, things uh, empirically. What we did instead is we asked you to taste firsthand from the inside just how hard it is uh, 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 to, when, when you observe your mind in action, how hard it is to not get stuck on, on some specific content. Our brains naturally default towards thinking about stuff, particularly worrisome stuff. So we even upped the ante yesterday uh, with, our, specific, you know, with our, our homework exercise where I asked you to purposefully select something that currently stresses you out. Who does that? Well, we did. And uh, for, uh, uh, for most of us right now, it's not hard to come up with stuff that stresses us out, particularly around the current virus uh, pandemic and the huge impact it's having on all of our lives. So, uh, but I have to tell you, my aim yesterday was not simply to see if I could stress you out more. Uh, quite to the contrary, what I wanted to do is I wanted to give you an experience. And so I provided you guidance to first of all, think of uh, a stressful thought. And then secondly, to return your attention, having thought of that thought, return your attention back to following your breath in and out. So stressful thought, back to breathing, stressful thought. <clears throat> What this exercise is getting at is this. We get stuck most oftentimes in kind of this never, <coughs> this never ending loop of ruminating about stressors, even when they're bona fide, like honest to goodness stressors. Um, and we get stuck in this loop and actually our getting stuck in that loop makes things far worse. So one way to manage our stressful thoughts is to try, uh, well, let me, there's a couple ways to do this. One way to manage is just to try to erase thoughts from our brain. Just, banish them from, our, from, our, from our, our minds. And I think sometimes this can be effective, but I'm not sure that it's the best strategy. And so what we're doing is we're, we're, we're suggesting behind door number two, and that is where you simply set a stressful thought on a mental shelf temporarily. Uh, you can come back to it later, but you're always bringing your focus back to an anchor. In this case, we're anchoring our, our attention in the rhythm of each of our own breaths. You know, if you, if you apply this and experiment with it, breathing in the way that we're talking about, where you're actually being mindful of your breath, it might just provide you enough space, especially with practice, uh, to, to, to maybe where you can get to where you're not quite so sunk by stressful thoughts uh, and emotions. That's what we're talking about. It's trying to provide a buffer. So rather than trying to push something away, it's actually trying to kind of go underneath it, massage it open, and find a calmer place underneath it. So what I want to do is I want to give you an exercise for today. Uh, it's, going to, it's going to be very much like the ones we've been doing. So remember, as I've said before, repetition does not equal redundancy. And so here we go then. I want you to start by breathing, focusing on the natural rising and falling of your breath. And then I want you to introduce the stressful thought into your mind. And now I want you to imagine setting that thought on a shelf and bringing your attention back to the breath. That's it, you guys. That's the whole practice. But notice that I said practice. We did something like this yesterday and the day before. We're just refining it. But each time you practice this, you begin to create new possibilities in terms of managing stress. And that's really one of the key goals that we have here. Thanks for joining me today. Stay safe, be well, and I'll see you again tomorrow here at the Vitality Project.